Hi guys, welcome to Origin. I'm still not back. When you see a different background, that's when you can assume I'm back, but until then, it's still that kind of, uh, I make videos every now and then situation. Yesterday, Leighton Way made a video called The Atheist Community is Dead. Now, I've been making videos on YouTube for three and a half years. I opened my channel in May 2008, and I've watched the community change quite a lot during that time. So just a brief history, and this goes, you know, even before my time. Uh, 2006, he had the first YouTube atheist, people like Brett Keen, TJ, Captain Awesome. In 2007, that's when the community really exploded. He got just tons of people, tons of YouTube atheists making videos. And this continued through 2008 and into 2009, when I think... The shift happened around about February 2009 when it was pretty much then that we actually ran out of things to say about the whole religion issue and we started focusing on pwnage videos. If you remember that was roughly when Coughlin started his pwnage olympics. After pwnage became less popular, it never really went out of fashion, let's say, we started diverging making videos about different stuff, like I focused on scepticism and music and stuff like that. Politics has always been a big topic since then with many people. There were groups of people talking about certain issues. Sometimes it spiralled into drama so we'd all get involved. And this was really the trend that defined 2010. As for 2011, well speaking beyond YouTube here, looking at the whole world, this is probably the most significant year in history since 1989 when you had the communist revolutions. Because we've had tons of revolutions this year. Obviously the Arab Spring, we've got Occupy Wall Street now. This is a year of revolution and a year of people beginning to care more and more about politics. And we've been making videos about the revolutions, we've been mirroring videos from Occupy Wall Street, as well as talking about all of these political issues. And that's where we are today. So to say at this point that the atheist community is dead, well, I think it really died with last decade. Now, I've addressed something similar to this before in my video, Religious Discussions on YouTube. If you remember, me and Bionic Dance uploaded very similar videos on the same day, essentially saying the same thing, that we should keep talking about religion because even though we're repeating ourselves, we still have the problems that many of us were talking about before. You know, when theists have asked, why do we care about religion, we bring up how it affects our lives. Those problems are still there, is what I'm saying. Now, I haven't been making many videos since then, but Bionic Dance did exactly what she said she was going to do. She made, she continued to make videos on religion, and what happened was she started losing subscribers. So it's clear now that we have a situation where it's not just we've run out of things to say, it's that we're now bored of hearing these things. And that's a problem because if we've said everything already, and if we're bored of hearing the same things over and over again, but the problems that we talked about are still there, that atheists are still being marginalised, what do we do? But I'd like to bring up another problem. And that's that I think here on YouTube we have a PR problem. If we look at who the top atheists are, TJ, Thunderfoot, Pat Condell. Well, Thunderfoot and Pat Condell, I think the problems at this point are pretty obvious. Thunderfoot, no question about it, he's a very smart guy. He's made some brilliant videos. His Why Did People Laugh at Creationist series. His videos were he's shown himself doing uh, science experiments. But his attitude to Islam, yeah. As for Pat Condell, it's even worse because you've got all the problems that Thunderfoot has with Islam. You know, Pat Condell has the same problems, but he doesn't have anything to fall back on that he's, that he's done that's actually good. Now, TJ. I don't have much problem with TJ at all. I could say stuff like maybe his position in, on feminism is in slightly the same vein as Thunderfoot's position on Islam. You know, he generalises them, he says, well... Kind of lumps all feminists into the category of the rad femmes. 
But beyond that, there's no question about it, I like TJ's videos. I don't have a problem with him. And I don't care about his e-begging or the whole banana gate thing, I just laughed when I heard about that. But at the same time, think of the ammo that that kind of stuff is giving theists. You know, TJ's PR, not great, if we're honest. But these are the people that we've all got behind. We like to champion logic and reason, but especially in the cases of Thunderfoot and Pat Condell, and especially when they've talked about Islam, that's just gone completely out the window. And it's not only that they're not relying on logic to advance their positions, they're relying on propaganda and, you know, wording what they want to say in a very emotive way, you know, almost as if, almost li like they're presidential speeches or something. It's the fact that the majority of people who watch these two characters are gobbling it up. So we've diagnosed a problem, but a lot of people tend to stop there. I'm not going to. I want us to think about how we can remedy this situation. At this point, I don't think we can resurrect the community, but we do still need to address these problems as atheists. The first thing we need to do is what Leighton Way did in his video when he talked about the American Cancer Society. We need to point out when atheists are being marginalised and we need to jump on those events. We need to really, you know, we, we need to make tons of videos about that instead of about petty dramas that go on. Now when things like this have happened in the past we have made videos about it, but we need to do that more. We need to step it up a level. Even if all the arguments have been done to death, these things are going to keep happening and they're going to be a continuous fresh source of video ideas and we need to exploit that. The other thing is theists are going to keep coming on YouTube and presenting their arguments even though they may be saying something that millions of other theists have said before we need to keep responding to their videos. Remember the fundies have an agenda even if our community is dead theirs will never die because they're going to keep making videos about this, they're going to keep trying to spread their message. So we need to keep countering that. Now the PR problem is by far the most complicated one to address. One thing I've done consistently on my channel is to spread the message to think for yourself. I've never tolerated, you know, echo chambers sprouting up or drone behaviour or anything like that. That's something that's not going to change, and I'm going to continue making videos about scepticism and stuff like that. I've got tons more ideas, I've got a lot more to say on the, on the matter. That resource for me is not going to dry up for quite some time. Eventually it will. But if my time on YouTube has taught me anything, it's that logic and reason alone simply aren't enough. Right, the average atheist who comes on here and watches a YouTube video, maybe not one who makes videos but one who watches them, isn't as logical or rational as we would like to believe they are. When theists say that Richard Dawkins is our god or that Origin of Species is our bible, you know, that, that may not be technically correct but when you look at how some of the viewers treat, you know, the bigger channels or you know, the new atheists like Dawkins or Hitchens or Harris. There's some validity to what those theists are saying. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that people on my side of the Islam issue that's been going on since early 2010 have the more rational position. But, you know, Thunderfoot has an enormous audience, you know, Collectively, we can't even compete with that, and the majority of people are on Thunderfoot's side because they're simply part of his audience and they're just not questioning him enough. We're not getting this scepticism message across enough clearly. And when, as long as Thunderfoot's going to talk about Islam, we can't rely on him to do anything but pay lip service to that because, let's face it, if he holds as strong a position on Islam as he does, then it's in his best interest to make use of this echo chamber that's developed around him. Now it may be that you take issue with what I've said here, that you're on Thunderfoot's side, 
But I don't want the point to get lost here. The point is that we should question these people. I've said it over and over again, but the message still isn't getting across. And I've talked about why I'm never prepared to do live debates, because it's, it's become very clear to me that the winner of a debate is not the person with the most logical argument, it's the person who can be the most convincing. And logic alone isn't going to convince people. Sometimes, you know, you need to show you care about your argument, you need to actually have some emotional content. And I think a lot of us have some aversion to that because we think it's deceitful. Certainly that thought's been in my head for quite some time. But we're in quite an awkward position here because yes, okay, it might be a bit deceitful, but if it's a necessary part of convincing people that our position is one that they should follow, then realistically speaking it's something we have to use. What I'm trying to say here is that sure we can champion logic and reason but we need to do a bit more than that. We need to actually be appealing and you know that that's what I'll start doing if my skepticism issue dries up and I have nothing more to say on the matter. You know I'll start looking into stuff like that. But as always I want to hear what you think. Have I just been spouting garbage for the last however many minutes? Or do you think there's something salvageable in what I've said? Whatever the outcome, I want to hear what you guys have to say as always, and thank you for watching, goodbye.